New tonight, protesters stage a demonstration against police brutality in front of Metro headquarters. The protest was one of several around the country following recent high-profile cases involving police officers shooting African-American men, including the most recent in South Florida. But it also comes on the heels of gunmen targeting police officers in Texas and Louisiana. 13 Action News anchor Christopher King is live at Metro headquarters tonight. Chris. Steve, demonstrators marched right down the street, right in front of Metro Police Headquarters. Their message was loud and clear. They want justice. And there were dozens of them out here outside after a brief but friendly meeting with a community outreach officer. The multi-ethnic group is demonstrating against police brutality on the heels of three recent high-profile shootings of African-American men all caught on video. In the latest, in North Miami, police shoot and wound Charles Kinsey, a therapist who has his hands up as he tries to help an autistic patient. Weeks earlier in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, police shoot and kill Alton Sterling. And just outside St. Paul, Minnesota, cops gun down Philando Steele. Protesters we speak with want cops caught on camera or cops caught abusing people of color to be prosecuted. When is it going to stop? When is people really going to recognize what's going on? We need to stop all this violence. We really do. We got to do something. We need to stand up and say that uh, it needs to stop. Now all this happens after three. After, after, all this happens rather after gunmen shoot and kill five officers in Dallas and three officers in Baton Rouge. Ralliers say they want an end to all the violence. We're live outside Metro headquarters. Christopher King, 13 Action News.